GNU, Linux, free and open source software. These things are absolutely insane. They're like the coolest things ever. Now, I've been using Linux for the longest time. I've jumped from Arch-based distributions, Linux-based distrib... Uh, Debian-based distributions. Uh, right now, I'm running Pure Debian, and uh, I was using Manjaro. I wanted to give Pure Debian a, a shot. I'm enjoying it, but uh, there's a lot of configuration to do. It reminds me a bit of Arch in that way. And um, I want to try Pup OS because I want to see how a user-friendly Linux would look because I've only used Ubuntu like a really long time ago as well as Linux Mint a very long time ago so I forgot what uh, some of the uh, user-friendly Linuxes look like since I'm, I'm mostly usually always in the terminal anyway and my only real desktop environment -y stuff is just like moving stuff windows around or having easy access to workspaces or just this bar on the top now, I'm an XFCE lover. I've been using XFCE for like the longest time. I've used it with Manjaro uh, for like three years. And now I used it with Debian for uh, a few months now. And I usually don't show that I use Linux. I, I, I kind of hint at it with like, if you see like a folder like this, it won't be like Mac, it won't be Windows, it'll be like its own thing, uh, just to show that it's different and maybe getting some people to ask some questions. Uh, and I'll choose different icons or whatever, so I was rocking before the um, new mix pack when I was using Antergos, before that got d destroyed, um, and disowned really. Uh, and then I used uh, Papyrus, Papyrus? And now I'm using Mocha. I want to try that out. Uh, right now, Papyrus and Numix are really two really complete icon packs that are modern that I like a lot. But uh, I like Mocha. But some of the icons, I feel, are a bit different than the other ones. I don't like this home icon. But I really, really enjoy the uh, drives and uh, the trash, the uh, recycling bin. So it's nice. Um, so, yeah, I use... XFC. I've been using XFC for the, the longest time just because it's minimal. It's fast. Uh, and, you know, it, like it doesn't do much, but it, that's it does it well. And that's its philosophy is to be functional over all else. Uh, I, I hope to contribute even one day to the XFC, to XFC, uh, if ever I dabble into open source. Uh, that's new to for me, but uh, if there was one uh, desktop environment I would love to contribute, it's this lovely mouse right here. Uh, I like that uh, the bar on he uh, top here, the panel, they call it, uh, is customizable. I'm using the um, application launcher, I think it's called, as uh, this, of course, because it's much easier to use and I don't see any problems with it. Uh, I uh, I have different things here. Uh, I, I, I have it in icon mode. I like it. It's nice. It's small. It's like the size of my cursor and it's right there. I can have a bunch of things open uh, since I have quite a lot of... Uh, do I have... Actually, I don't know if I've... I haven't installed uh, NeoFetch yet, but if I install that real quick, we could uh, get some nice visualization of uh, of stuff. There we go, everything in one place. So, uh, yeah, I'm running Debian uh, 10, um, Buster. Uh, I have three monitors. And what was I looking for here? The amount of RAM I got, I'm rocking an AMD Ryzen 5 1600X. Uh, I used to overclock it, now it's not. I'm uh, running with a 1070, it works uh, fine. I wish I had an AMD graphics card because Nvidia and Linux don't go too well together sometimes, but it's very well supported and there's no real issues, especially if you're using the proprietary drivers, but obviously I would like to be a little more open source. And I have 16 gigs of RAM, which is more than enough for everything I do to the day to day. Sometimes I, I run for like I open like a whole bunch of tabs and it's usually able to withstand that. Uh, I used to, when I was on Manjaro, have a virtual machine with a secondary graphics card that I linked up to it and I gave it half my cores, half my RAM. 
and I, I really didn't even notice a slowdown. I just couldn't open as much tabs was the only difference, but it was super awesome. And that's another thing, like setting all of these complicated stuff up on Linux is insanely easy to do like technical things. It's made to be dabbled with. It's made for, for hackers and stuff like that. Um, and and it's just so cool, man. It's a It's an open source operating system and it's the i would say the more known one out there right i know that there's other ones um but you know gnu linux is where it's at i'll uh i'll say uh i use a lot of uh when i'm making videos about c or other like c plus plus i use uh the gnu c compiler uh or g plus plus which is a GNU C++ compiler. Uh, and I use Make, which is also made by GNU. I, I like to use a lot of the uh, the GNU toolkit. Uh, and that comes all with uh, the whole uh, package, doesn't it? All right, so. Um, first thing, I, I loved that there was workspaces in Linux. I have not used workspaces before Linux, and I think I was... Yeah, I was on Windows 7 when I first installed Linux, but I had a Linux computer long before that. I was on, I had like, my dad gave me an old computer that had a GNOME 2 installed on it, I think. It was some old Ubuntu, because I remember the Ubuntu logo, and it was not Unity, and it was definitely not GNOME 3, so it was had to be GNOME 2 or older, but I, I think it was GNOME 2, and... I didn't even know what Linux was when I used it. I was like five to 10, I wanna say. And it was just my first computer, some old junky computer that was built together and someone decided to put Linux on it. And yeah, I had fun playing like some free games. I would do that. I knew I knew that I had to go to like the software center or whatever it is on Ubuntu. And I would just scroll through, I'd click on games and I'd install stuff. And that was good old times. I used, that's how I, played uh you know old uh like free games on on linux and it was super awesome it was great and and that's where i also i I did start to notice that at school i don't know if this i don't know if this is just a thing where i am but a lot of schools had open source games on them because they wanted to put some free games for the kids to play but they were all like open source and i wouldn't have known that if it weren't for the fact that they were tux based, that they were Linux based. And now that I know about Linux, I look back at that. I'm like, man, they had tux paint on my school computers, my school Windows 7 computers. You know, like that's weird, I find. Uh, I mean, it's cool, but like they didn't introduce us to open source. It just, they were just there. There was like the platforming one too, like uh, what's it called? Tux platformer or something. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't remember, but uh, yeah, no, it was super great. And uh, even now, still today, I have one friend who's going to high school, and his computer, or the, the computers at their school, they have like GL Tron installed on it. Yo, with a game name like GL Tron, <laughs> it's like such a technical name. Like, the kids don't know what the GL stands for, nor will they ever really know what it stands for, unless. They're like computer nerds, right? I mean, especially if you're in primary school, more than secondary, I suppose. But still, like, I don't know. It's it's weird. So, yeah, there's not much about, like, my XFC system that I can show. It, it's minimal and it's functional. It gets the job done. And that's why I like XFC over, uh, over others. I know I'm kind of jumping around here in my thoughts just because I wanted to get this video out. Before I uh, try out Pop OS, I only tried Debian for a, a few months, and I do like it. I might come back to it, but for my main system, I need a few more things to work right away. Um, and I want to see if Pop OS can can offer me that. And I'm especially interested, you know, since I'm have an Nvidia graphics card, they have like on their website a a, a download for uh, the like an NVIDIA version with like all the drivers pre-installed. So that's kind of interesting. And uh, I'm going to give that a shot. So yeah, there you go. That's that's my little system. Usually 
Um, I also run uh, like I don't know what else to show you. Like this, this is it. I haven't customized much more. I I changed like the the buttons and the colors and stuff, but that's uh, that's it really. Uh, oh yeah, uh, here on the on the bar, I customize it. I, I always like to take screenshots. I always show my friends things, so I'm really quick to to. Uh, I put like this a widget here for screenshots and I love that because now every time I want a screenshot like yeah I could have a key combination and all that but sometimes I'm lazy I'm messing around with friends I'm leaning five miles away from my keyboard and I only have one house one house one hand on my ma mouse that's hand mouse mid house um and I and you know I just I want to take a screenshot of something bam to the corner you click and then, and then you just bam and wow look at that it's perfect if I need to modify it I can open it in GIMP what more would you want so yeah uh, that's all I really have to showcase um, I hope that uh, um, 